Good morning, everybody. Jen Crevasi here at Jekyll Bates. It's Monday morning. Red is the color of the hour of the season. Works for me down here in Arkansas from now through the spawn, pretty much, through late spring. And then I'm using changing over the color or whatever it is that I'm using. I'm usually dropping into plastics at that point. But winter time into the spawn, it's crankbait season down here, y'all. So if you're anywhere open water in the south, this is a perfect time of year to get your red on. Um, I'm going to start with this little knucklehead. This is an ABS foam. Um, I got it out of a random tackle box, not a mystery tackle box, but it's a Warriors. Warriors, um, I don't know anything about it. Uh, a buddy of mine, CJ, gave me a couple of tackle boxes because he's not subscribed to them anymore. I'm not subscribed to them either. So as far as the quality of baits are concerned, I, I actually prefer the mystery tackle box to the warriors just from what i've seen but you get hidden gems and this is one of them this is a wake bait it's the abs foam it's a fairly large wake bait it, it rivals some of the larger rapala wake baits that are out there um but it's got good action i've, I've seen the tank tests uh, i want to take it swimming but i instead of taking it swimming i think i'm going to send this out to san diego my buddy pete who is the rodent expert um, he does his own molds and does resin and wood baits and turns on lathes and all that kind of cool stuff. You guys know him as Reckless Rodents. Um, he's somewhere on here. There he is. He is finally back in action, and it's a moment we've all been waiting for. If you guys know anything about Pete or anything about his life, he's gone through some major shoulder surgery, and it has made him unable to do anything. So this is in honor of him coming back to work. Uh, if we get close up on it, I did like the, the wounded, exposed skin and muscle and flesh underneath. Got some blood splatter on it and bloody eyes. Just a fun, fun, fun pattern to do. Did it sort of in a tiger pattern for him, a real bright fluorescent because that's kind of his style. So this is a tribute to Pete. This is, this is for you, bro. We're going to send it out to Callie for you. Next up is this. This is a repaint. It's a little Rapala trout bait, and uh, I wanted to do, I, yes, I do match the hatch stuff. Here's what I was trying to mimic at the time, and this is going to crush in, in my waters. This one, sometimes you just have to paint for yourself, so this one's for me. Cool little minnow pattern, a little bit of flash and glitter white on the belly and hey it's 2020 so that's how you know my videos are current we are in january this is uh this has been on the drying rack it's finally good to go we've got it cured we're getting it out to uh my client this morning uh, this is part of uh, another larger order that he did. He did two orders, one shipped out, one has not. This is part of the one that is going this morning. We're getting ready to dress this, which is why I'm over here um, at the spray bench because I got to do a lot of cleaning on this and get those eyelets good to go for him. And he asked for a lot of little Johns, so we've got several. This is that Mad Hatter. This is Old Red. And he knows. He knows the deal. Red is the season. So that's what we're in. Look at that beautiful shine on there, ladies and gentlemen. This is an older school pattern, but it's on the website. And occasionally I get requests for this older style crawl. I still have the stencil for it, so I'll make it from time to time. And just a few. And look at those eyes. There's... Jets and eyes on there for you. Very cool. And actually, the uh, the purple ones here is the firelight. Those purple reptile eyes as well. And the spring creeper. And then we've got the Murray Cod that you guys have probably already seen the spray session on that. It's the first spray session of 
2020. Got a little depth and shading going on there where you lay down the, the darker gray first and then you come back on top of it slightly offset and do the white. You don't have to flip negative and positive. You can just go ahead and offset just a little bit, which basically just means slide your, your stencil to, off to the side. And that's what gives you that perception of depth on there that it's inset a good bit more. This is for tanks going to Australia. And you can see the detailing on the gill plates and on the fan. I showed you guys how to do all that. So if you haven't seen that video, go check that out. We're keeping it short and sweet this morning. And I appreciate all you guys watching. I hope you have a fantastic week. That's the T-Rox. That fun little T-Rox crawl. And I will see you guys on the next one. Happy casting from Jekyll Bates.